how's it going guys so today we will be installing a toba on the polo um hope you guys are psyched because i'm very psyched uh with how with the installation so i managed to get a good score on this toba uh, it's old but it will do so i got some new hardware as you can see over there so those are the brackets, the new hardware, old hardware. As you can see, I had to get new bolts because the old ones uh, were rusted out and the threads are badly damaged. So I didn't want to risk damaging this bracket here. But yeah, pretty much we are going to be throwing that onto there. Should be interesting. Uh, so first off, we're going to be taking off this bumper. Once we have this bumper off, uh, before I do that, I'm going to raise the car. Once we have the bumper off, we will then attach the tow bar. And once we attach this tow bar, we can do the wiring. So it came with this wiring loom. Which is basically plug and play inside the polo. So that corresponds with the plugins for the taillights and I'm going to have to wire a new um, trailer plug. So I got this at Midas, uh, really cheap, really well in bed, it was about 30 bucks and it should be able to do the job. So I'm gonna wire this, attach that to this right here, and we are good to go. So guys, in order to remove a power player bumper, there's a T25 screws in the fender well. I'm not sure if you can see that. So we have about one, two, three, four, I believe inside the fender well and underneath we should have like two over there um, same on this side and this fender well and after we're done with those we're gonna loosen the top main three which is one two three and the whole bumper should come loose
so anyway, I just secured um, the bumper to that hook over there because I have a reverse camera and I, I really don't feel like going through the process of unplugging it and all that. So that's going to have to do. But from the looks of it, this crush bar right here will need to come out because our mounting points for the tow bar are in there. So where this crush bar mounts is where we're mounting our tow bar. So we're going to have to remove this crush bar right there, put the tow bar in place. So please remember guys, safety first. Always got to have the gloves. Now, to put the other side, and then I will be able to show you guys the other side. So, another thing before we get to these, we'll need to first loosen and take this bottom plastic tray off so we can get access to the bolts so i will start by taking all this out uh, it's a couple of 10 10 mil nuts if i'm not uh, mistaken and then after that we're all good side just uh, behind the exhaust over there uh, we have one and two once I loosen those two and take them out then the crash bar should just come out guys one crush bar out one tow bar in okay so time is finally here to place the tow bar right on the car um, everything else looks good so the way this is gonna work is um, see this plate with the nuts with the welded nuts is gonna be at the top and this plate is gonna be underneath so the bolt the bolt is literally gonna go like this uh, like so 
the two bolts are gonna go through that plate from underneath the car and bolt onto this plate here to hold it in place on the car and that should be it so at this point we're making good progress and uh, the tow bar should be in within the next few minutes and then the major part of the work is gonna be wiring the the tow bar plug um, so we'll see when we get there to cut the bumper as you can see right there I had to give it a nice cut so that that bottom part of the tow bar can go through but otherwise it turned out really nice you can't even see the cut when you're looking at it from this side and yeah now what I need to do is just get a cover for this I'm probably gonna paint this red. I think that would stand out a bit better. And have that nice black cover. Maybe cover that electrical unit as well. But other than that, we are done, guys. So to be honest, guys, it really wasn't bad. Um, the most difficult thing was um, doing the wiring, actually. So I'm trying to match up the left indicator right indicator brakes fog light and so on um, was a bit of a struggle especially with that harness that it came with but eventually i got that done and basically i used like a hand saw blade um, to cut this part of the bumper which is literally the same thing i did when i cut this out all those years ago I just literally use that flexi blade, cut a rough shape, use some sandpaper to refine it, uh, which is the same thing I did there. So all in all, it's totally worth it. If you can get yourself a nice, good secondhand toba, or even brand new, if anyone makes them out there, do it. It's totally DIYable. And um, if you do attempt it, good luck to you guys, and I hope this um video actually helped you a lot if you really want to attempt to install a toba on any car come to think of it they're most likely gonna be similar in nature but yeah we'll see so now we got rid of the crash bar and have the toba instead and i think it's totally worth it for me it's not practical as much as I want this car to be a show and shine car, but at the same time, it's daily driven, so Toba is really gonna help in the long run of things. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.
Everybody will be dancing and fulfilling it right. Everybody will be 